Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm an audio recording engineer, producer, musician, composer, and longtime fan, user, and educator of Logic. And the newest update to Logic Pro 10 just came out, Logic 10.4.2. So along with several under the hood stability and reliability updates, there are some pretty cool new features and enhancements. In this quick course, I'll be covering all of these new features that have been added to Logic 10.4.2. So the big one is the ability to relocate the sound library to an external storage device. This is something that Logic users have been asking for for a long time. In Logic 9 and earlier, you could use folder aliases to essentially trick Logic to access its sound library on an external hard drive. I've done it myself. With this new feature added to Logic 10.4.2, you don't have to do it with aliases anymore. It's super simple. So what you do is you just go up to Logic Pro 10, Go down to sound library and you'll see this new option here that says relocate sound library so i'll click on that then this window pops up and it quickly calculates the size of the sound library so mine is 66.83 gigabytes now you'll see your main hard drive up here mine just says macintosh hd and it says i've got 446 gigabytes of free space but then I also have this external media drive. The media is just the name of the drive and it's 2.13 terabytes. So plenty of free space on that. So all I have to do is select that drive and hit relocate and it'll ask for your password. Now keep in mind, this is over 60 gigs of data. So it'll take a little while to move everything over. And while this is moving over, I'll explain to you two good reasons to do this. One, you save space on your main hard drive where you're running your operating system. Some people suggest running your sessions from an external hard drive to save on space. Well, if I have a project on an external drive, I almost always find myself moving the session over to my main drive, working on the session, and then moving it back over to storage. Working on sessions on an external drive usually has a negative impact on your workflow. Things will load slower, you can't work with as many plugins, you can't have as many effects and other things uh, running simultaneously, the session will stop playback more often, etc. And this brings me to my second point. Having the sound library on a secondary drive can actually improve the performance, unlike trying to work with a session on an external drive. Moving the sound library can actually be a good thing. Unless the external drive is like a really slow, older drive, or you're using like a slower bus like USB 2.0, for example. With USB 3, USB-C ports, and Thunderbolt 3, you're gonna see an improvement in performance because your logic project on your main drive is reading and writing data from your main drive, while all sound library components are being read from the external drive. So this splits up the work between two drives, therefore improving performance. And one other thing to keep in mind is that the vast majority of downloadable content in the sound library is the sample libraries in your sample-based instruments. EXS24, Alchemy, Ultrabeat, Drumkit Designer, Studio Horn, Studio Strings, and even the vintage Mellotron have sample libraries that are stored in the sound library. The Apple Loops library that comes with Logic actually isn't even moved over with this process. They're a very small part of the sound library as a whole, and they're also stored in a different location on your Mac than the sample libraries are. So the Apple Loops library is actually not moved over when you go through this process. All right, it looks like everything's moved over uh, successfully, so I'll just hit okay here. And we're good to go. So you'll see in your external drive, it's now added a library folder. When you open this up, you can see that it's moved the sound library over.